of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Can you hold on a second, let me tell the house that she doesn't waste your effort. You screwed up a little bit. <laughs> Where are you going? I don't know. You're sitting in a high chair. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that shoes with men? Yeah, check. I don't know most of us. Now you look smaller. Yeah. Well, I like this. It's reverse uh, <laughs> negotiation, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. That was the toner, so you don't have the right ones. Is there anybody else that needs copies made for anything, or just me? Did you email us copies of something? No. No, I sent you nothing. So. I have all handouts. Okay. So you want to get shot at Paul? Or? Well, it'd be easier if everybody's here. Okay. I know you want to hit in some stuff out of. Yeah, I can do that. Somebody else is coming in now. Yeah. The committee. Sorry, my friend. You don't have to be afraid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't scared. <laughs> I'm fearless with a capital F. Mr. Media. <laughs> the media. <laughs> the media. Well, I guess I should have said Yeah, right in front of you, take one, a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say you're not that far. I used somewhere in that case. <laughs> oh, so, so many. I, I think I know the report. Like, okay, that's good. Okay, so I'm are we going to have to go through all of them that didn't pass? We're going to have to go through all of them. Yeah. All of them are all of them. Where we're supposed to say. Yeah. Where, where to say so no, you're not gonna, so no, you're not going to get done early. <laughs> I have to go get my kid. I mean, sorry, my kid's a priority. Yeah. So why do I'm, I'm? Why do we have to go through all of them? Well, let me get everybody here before I before I sign, please. <laughs> Let's see if they're going to this time. Was it actually 19? It's just the one where one of them all stuck up to you before. So put the long ones in? They put the long ones in? I was out looking for last year and I couldn't find it. And I looked in there and I was out of there. I never got caught. Why don't you just want to make sure we're streaming? <laughs> Thank you. I think they fired me. It is over there, but it's not much. Sure. Is, there, is there any more copies of that? Yeah. She said you could start. Okay. So that was Following your core. All right. Okay, I know you're used to having your budget books and all the information that goes with that, but since we are looking at what passed, what didn't pass, and trying to get this balanced budget to work, we, we handed out just the referendum package itself, showing you what the votes were. And we're gonna go item by item, because some of the items that didn't pass, we definitely gotta address. 
some of the items that did pass, we got to address as well because we're trying to. Knock off $559,613. Why is that? It's coming. It's a number I saw, I call. 559. 559 Thank you. It's, it's coming. It'll be back. Did you just need one? Yeah, he was done. So starting a question referendum number three in your ballot that I gave you. The property tax lobby failed. Folks did not want to go in that direction. The current board does not want to go in that direction. So the levy idea is off the table. So we're trying to cut out, and if you look on this back page of that levy sheet, under number 15, approximately how much money we got to take out of the budget to get us down below. Okay, I have a question, and I'm not trying to be a jerk. No, it's okay. Anyway. But how can we change things that people voted on? That how, question that question was asked. How can you you people voted as to what they wanted and what they didn't want, and who is it up to us to take and change that now? We're, we're not changing. We're well if you're cutting five hundred and fifty nine six thirteen out of the budget, you're doing We're presenting it to the people, the people are making the decision. It's going to look at, and again, I don't want to sound like a jerk, no, no. that, you know, like, okay, we didn't like how you guys voted this time, so here it is again. Well, I, here I think it is you'll, again. And I, th I think you'll see that the things and the changes we've made have very little impact on the people. It's not affecting the money they want to give to the people that need money, the, um, the charities, whatnot. The, the uh, fire department's still getting their striker. They're getting all the equipment they asked for. I think if you wait and see how the process plays out. The thing is the town the town has a number. Right. In L V one you can't go above that number by right. a percentage. And we're right. way above that by five hundred and fifty nine thousand. So they get a cut five hundred and fifty nine thousand okay. to be at that number above L V one. Okay. That's that's why, right? And, and we I can't pay it. We can't pay the bill. And the tax. people have to agree to it. It's gotta go in front of the people at a town meeting, which is uh approved. Are we getting up a town meeting yes. or a town vote? Town meeting. Town meeting. We don't have time for a town vote. Yeah. We would like to have the other, but we just don't have the okay. time. If we go to a town vote, it's we have to have these written and then wait 60 days. The government could, we could be out of money. Uh, things could have to shut down. I mean, <clears throat> there'll be no money coming in. So, Have you thought about how you're going to word the questions? Yes, we're working on that. Is it going to be to amend a, a previous number? The how, how did they put that? She said there's several ways it can be done and she'd help us do it. She's a lawyer at MMA. She said it can be where it can be amend, uh, repeal if you're getting rid want to get rid of it completely, or um, amend and with a certain number and switch it that way. Um, Just because if you don't do amend and you have everybody voted yes for this one and now you you do another one and they No, it's gotta say amend in there and it's got a reference right. to, to change or otherwise changing, yes. Yep. <coughs> So we've been working on the words, but before we got too deeply into the words, we wanted to see if we were heading in the right direction and everybody's going to be with us. So have you guys been able to cut? Yep. yep. So as we get down through this, I, will, uh, I, I like to hit each one, and then I'll give you the, the total numbers at the end. So we're down to referendum four for the stretcher. So referendum two you're not doing anything with? Not at the moment. Okay. Referendum number four. The uh, the amount was twenty three thousand nine hundred ninety two dollars. That's approved. Uh, we have an opportunity to get a stretcher that is slightly used, or it's a demonstration model. The price for that is sixteen thousand two hundred eighty nine dollars and sixty eight cents. 
He was a pass. pass. Yeah. yeah. One for everybody. Whole cop. Whole pack. Whole pack. Yeah. One for everybody. Okay, do this pass. Do you have all this written down, Paul? All, all these numbers? Uh, yeah, just come pass one. Pass one. Just pass them down. Pass one down. Yeah, everybody keep going. The packet, I guess. Is the chief okay with this? Yes. We have, we have talked to him. Well, I have to talk to JT. Chief has been talking with, with JT this so. time. This is the one JT picked out. We, yeah. I, I found one that was um, refurbished. JT was concer had some concerns about it. He reached out to Stryker, and um, they came, came up with one that's Next just a demo one. model. Um, so this is the one that a little more money, but it's the one the fire department wanted. So. Thank you. I can say that's going to change my numbers a little bit. But well, what, was the, what was the number on there? The cost? Okay. Mm -hmm. on, on the graph that you have in front of you, it's 16,289.68. Uh, it looks like you've got a chance to break that down into two payments. This year and next year? Yep. So we only raise 8,000 8, something this year? Yep. So is that 8,000 what we go in the warrant then? Yeah. So you're going to do another another payment? Yeah, 0% interest. Oh, 0% interest? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that's going to be a dollar again. Thank you. And they get the one they want. Yeah. yeah. And they get the one they want. And this is the one that JT found. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Any other questions on this one? I don't want to go too fast. I don't want to go too slow. So. So that's divided by two. Yeah, it's my good on the there's a page on the second page I think shows the payment. Oh, no, I was just writing. Oh, oh, well, I got you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Referendum number five. <clears throat> Excuse me. That one did not pass, so that fifty-three thousand four hundred three will come out of that five hundred fifty-nine thousand that we are working off from. And we didn't do anything else with that. We just let it stay where it's at. Referendum six for the assessment, accelerating the assessing. We agreed as a board not to go in this direction. It didn't pass, so we're not going to put it in. So that will be coming up. Number seven. Can I ask a question? Oh, sure. I'm sorry. Is, and maybe I'm rushing things. Is no, no. There, is there a regular assessment? Yeah, an annual? Yes, yes, there is. General okay. government. Thank you, General government. Yes. Number seven has to do with the LED, LED lights. We come across some other additional information. And you want to address that one? Yeah. In order for us to leave CMP and have a, a third party put in the, the lights, um, we have to pay CMP uh, $18,000 $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18, $18
a little over eight thousand dollars is a yearly savings. Um, and the annual this one states twenty thousand. Like I said, that's that's not a correct number. Along with the upfront cost, would be a lot more. So in the end, it, it almost equals out to be about the same same amount of money without the upfront cost and without worrying about any repairs or anything going wrong. So what are you gonna? You just are just gonna come off. It, yeah, it, it would be amended to there'd be no upfront money, but we'd still do the LED light conversion. We'll see. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you're going to repeal this? Amend it to, to go with CMP. So but, 20, but if it doesn't cost any money, you don't need a right. Count 20, for that. Right, the 20000 Well, we this passed, so we have to yeah, do something we to, don't want to, get, I, to get I personally don't want to say repeal because if we say repeal, it looks like we're not going to do it. Well, I guess my point is, is that CMP, and there's an email on CMP that said it wouldn't cost us a dime. And now you're saying CMP is telling you that it's going to cost you 18000 Yep. Okay. I, I did some research. I, I, want to find, I want to find out why the CMP. They said nobody asked that question. Uh, it's in that email. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I did see that and I did read it's that. It's the email from CMP. Okay. But, 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 but I also they, saw. They, 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 gave us, they gave us three options. Okay. She, she said, I'm just telling you what she said to me is that nobody asked about the, the buyout and I learned about it by doing the research online of other towns that have had to make the same decision and some of the buyouts for some towns are staggering um, even with the older lights that they don't have to pay for. No, I, yeah. Right, some of them are, have, but a lot of the ones that even have buyout numbers are still going to third parties. Yep. And so all I would, I, all I would suggest you, you guys can do whatever the hell you want is I would bring in Affinity because they helped us early in the process because they do this all over the state and they, they have contracts that they're doing currently all over the state with Augusta and everything else and he knows the numbers better than you better than me better than CMP so because he's doing this day in and day out and he can tell you about what the costs are going to be and everything else and at least that way there's he's no contract a, he's the company that he's the company that he the may have uh, well, they, I think they put a bid in. Yeah, they were the only one to put a bid in. Okay, but I mean, again, it's not so, higher, but but they helped ahead of time. Yeah, the board. No, I understand. I, they're, they're the there might be no. I understand. There might be a little motivation for their help, though. They're the experts, right? So I mean, well, yeah, but they're selling us the product too. I mean, I guess we'd want to find someone that if we're going to go there. Okay, let's. Uh, isn't involved in it, but yeah. So what was the co wasn't the cost like two grand a year to, for the for electricity? Or twenty four, I think, or twenty five. Right? Yeah, whatever. It's, it's right there. there. And again, I said, but so what's CMP's price? I'm the saying, but the, the delivery with, with, with their power and their delivery is eleven thousand. Yeah, and the September goes up ten point six five percent. The power and the delivery is going to be the same no matter what company that. When we got the quote from Infinity, they left out the delivery cost. They just put in the electricity cost. So, are CMP lights, LED lights? Yep. They're the same as these? Yep. Theirs, I think, are rated for, they said, for 28 years. And I think, I don't know if they're different from Infinity's, but I thought Infinity's was like 15 or something. But I don't know. That. And then, one well, the other thing CMP did say, it had to be a certified pole technician or something. Right, but understand, CMP is a private for profit oh, yeah. company. Yeah. So yeah. they are trying to sell you too. Right. So, so they're saying that you the want other a third thing is, party. The other thing is to get yeah. both people selling against each other. Okay. So why did they yeah. offer us this before? And they said that's answer. my point. So now that they think, oh, we're thinking about going, oh, now we'll give you a better deal. I mean, I'm just saying is, yeah. well, 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 CMP probably. will never have to replace the LED lights again if we're with CMP. For, for all intents and purposes, this still needs a lot more study. The 20000 we need to pull it off because we need that money to smile the 500000 So that's that's where we're at right now. And this is one we hate to sacrifice, but we need to. And we'll know by the time we write the warrant for the CMP. Yeah. Sorry, put that on the agenda. Any other questions on this one? Okay. That brings us down to number eight. No money, no change. So we don't have to do anything with that one. Number nine, we're looking to cut 66,000 out of that one. That will bring that down to 625081. Could you tell me again? 625081 will be the new number. And what did you cut? We're looking at insurances and trimming off some of the other 
supplies and other things in that area. We didn't specifically cut each one right now. We just took out, what was it, 40,000, 66,000. Are you going to have those numbers for us? Yeah. Right. We can do that. Now, are we going to, you guys going to get us the numbers and then we're going to meet again before the public hearing? We have to, you know, to get your, your uh, we need well, the referendum questions in front of us as well as your vote, whether or not you're going to go to support it. So what we're trying to do is get the field this evening so we can write the referendums and then next Wednesday night do the actual vote. Where did this number come from? 66,000? But without, yeah, I mean, we need to kind of know where a lot of it came from insurance. <laughs> insurance is way under budget this year and budgeted significantly more next year. A lot of it's going to come out of there. Um, some is going to come out of uh, the transfer station. And, the transfer uh, station is a different referendum. Oh, right. sorry, my mistake. Um, then I'd have to look at our notes on that. But a, a majority of it's going to come out of insurance. Next right. week when we come, it'll be all laid out for yes. us, right? Yes. Is that correct? Do you have a, are you going to have a contingency number? We're getting there. Well, the reason I ask there is insurance is normally always over budgeted because you have no idea what's going to happen with your employees. We were over this year, so there, there's a... I'm just saying, so you, so right. you have to... You have to we, we, left a, we left a cushion in there. It's over significantly this year. We added the number to subtract that, the new workers' comp, the new um, employee benefits, rising costs, back that out of it. Um, there's still a significant over genetic. <coughs> Are we going to get a, a copy of the expenses for the whole last year now? Can we get that? As we normally do, but we normally don't get it until December. But we... Again, some of these documents are not the ones you're used to seeing. No, this, this will give you the information that you're asking. This is just my, um, my FOIA request yesterday, and I was told they couldn't get it from me because Stacy wasn't here. I just asked for it yesterday. It might not be the same name that you, that you use. Maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know what you asked for. So. Mm -hmm. Well, you can keep a copy of that, Ben. Thanks, Chuck. Appreciate that. Didn't cost you down. I got to pay for a copy. I put it on the Please bear in mind that we're not trying to. Should I change anybody here? We were, we're stuck with a certain amount of money since the LED one did not pass. And the only way we can maintain taxes that they're at is that as much as we possibly can. Some of this is risky, you realize that. But not easy. And we can't even, according to MMA, she was quite certain we can't even raise the tax, put a tax raise on at a town meeting because we <coughs> don't have a referendum style, so we need to go that way. Yeah. So you're not going to raise the LD, you're not going to go over the LD one? Well, this has, to be, this has to be written, correct? Right. right. Yeah. So you can still hand out a written people to, the, to the people at that meeting. What do you mean, Jeff? Yeah, what do you mean? Well, LD one has to be written. Right. The way so, yeah. so therefore, it, and that's, that's why she's saying it only if you're just doing a voice vote or raise your hands, that's not written. But she I don't said know. She didn't. I don't she would have to double check, but she was quite certain it could be. And that may be true. Yeah, they're, they're she the wasn't one hundred but she was pretty certain. I just know the law says written, and I don't know whether that means that you can hand out to people that are doing there for that one written part, and everything else is a raise of hands, or whether you actually have to have a secret ballot. Because it'd be a warrant, she said it have, and not a referendum. That's why she felt it couldn't be done that way. So I have a question. Sure. How are you going to account for uh, absentee ballots and people who can't get out of their home to come to this the, meeting? The town meeting doesn't have absentee ballots. So you had like over 1,100 people vote on the warrant, and now you have however many, 60 to 100 people, which is normal. 
for our town meetings are going to change the voice of 1100 people. We got to get out. The people got to get out. Some of them can't get out. <laughs> That's why they vote absentee. Somebody needs to ring a bus and pick them all. Well, I don't mean that. If time if time was on our side, we'd do it a lot differently, believe me. But time is not on our side. Uh, tax bill. Okay, any more questions on number nine? Now we'll go to number ten. This is the building capital reserve fund for repairing buildings. We went to twenty thousand. We want to cut it back to ten. So there'll still be some money in there, but it, there is already money in the account. But we'll just cut back on how much we're going to put into it this year. How much is in there? I think twenty, right? Uh, Brenda, you know what the number was? Um, we looked at I it. Thought it was forty-six or forty-seven. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If I didn't get the pre-sorted, if I didn't get the pre before, but I don't. <laughs> Um, like 46 or 47 thousand. 49. Wait a minute. No. 29. Oh, 29. That's before that. Oh, okay. Why is that a year? 671, yes. Yes, it is. 49,995. 49, so just under 50 grand. So why do we need an additional 10 k at all? I was going to say, is there anything that put anything in there? I agree. I, I put zero, seeing we got 50 grand and we have insurance on the building, so. Okay, drop it to 10. Can we drop it from 10 to zero? Yeah. I'd say. All in agreement? I agree. Did we spend anything out of it during this past year? Do you know what The balance as of June of 18 was the 49. The only thing we, we, we the uh, vent system come out of the fire station. That's right. So that's not out of that number. How much was that? Do you remember? It was twenty something thousand. I thought it wasn't. Yeah. So it's not forty nine. It's twenty nine. Twenty nine something less than whatever that. No, I don't know what that. They have a hook up that vent system. Yeah. Well. They did. Last I knew, he had everything in except for the <laughs> magnet. But. An electrician, but you're right. I, I don't know. 580 to get out of it. 29? Yeah, so it's, yeah, you know, so it's only, so it's it's only, it's only about 20,000 and change. Yeah, yeah. and there. You, so, you got station one, still needs it, something to do with it. It's something in the air right now. Yeah. So, take 10 out and in. The budget committee record, record, uh, recommended zero, so I'm good with zero. Okay, good with zero. Zero? Zero. Yeah. 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 Brenda? You guys agree? Um, well. Is that call for a vote or not until next week? This is just right right now, it's just not so much a vote. Just just you gotta, you gotta write it so it'd be better to know. Yeah. But your numbers are just taking 10 out for right now, correct? Yeah. Right, right now, we're taking out zero. But when, you guys, when, you, guys did, when you guys did your numbers, we you did only 10. did 10. Yeah. 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 So is there any problem with before we say to go with the full amount to let's see the rest of? It would be easier if we went with, went with the 10. Or the zero in here. So, because you're still how much short? Hundred and we're still we're still short. Oh, okay. I thought that they were. Well, I we're, wish we're right there. Okay. But we're gaining ground right now. So, All right. What did you show? Us? Okay, so okay. zero on number ten. Let's go to zero on number ten. So you're saving Long. twenty. Okay. Awesome. Number eleven. Animal control officers. Uh, was twenty-one thousand two hundred and thirty dollars. We're putting back that on the ballot just the way she sits. No change. Well, it didn't pass the first time, so you think it's going to pass the did, second time? Did you it's talk? been the same amount for the last three, four years, and I can't explain why it didn't pass. And the law requires us to have one. We're looking at the salary and, and the expenses. It's just, I don't know where you cut. And remember, there's not going to be as many voters. Well, me personally, I'll be honest with you. When you when you stand at a candidate's night, you hand out stuff to people, trying to say that you don't want to select them. somebody voted as a selectman. That's it's, that's it's personnel. personnel. Exactly, but then you wonder why your budget gets voted out. Yeah. Granted, but again, that's I'm a, just saying. Yeah. Well, she did only spend fifteen 
Yeah, there's, there's money left. Seven hundred ninety dollars in there this year. Right, that you can buy. That all depends on how many animals she has to bring over to. Well, I'm just saying that's what she spent last last year. Does that include? We can do that. I mean, we cut two thousand. Go down to like nineteen. Yep, that's what we were just. Yeah. General consensus, nineteen. I, I think that. so. I think it should go and go into What's she going to do? Right? She has dogs that she's got to bring over there. You can't well, just like well, hold she can, them and her, play she with spend, them. Well, she spent last year. Yeah, Fifteen and two. Yeah, so she's she's under. So okay. you guys do what you want. I'm asking you. Well, the thing is, you know, we have to figure out how we're gonna. Okay, let's go with nineteen thousand. Yeah. Everybody is right. referendum eleven nineteen thousand. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'm simply saying in the minutes. It's okay, Chip. Uh, Chris, I just want yeah. to know what that wow. ten thousand is based wow. on. Well, you used to sit over there. So. She spent, she spent fifteen. Last Can you give her a flap? That's still more. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. what is the nineteen thousand based on? Just a number we're seven. picking out of the air. Not picking out of the air. It's the last. See, like a perfect right. opportunity that now that Chris and I are rejoined. Until the vote is taken, the <laughs> census is. Is that okay? Is that <gasps> you bitch? Yes, we leave it the same. What if it doesn't pass? <laughs> it's, I mean, obviously, well, you're going to leave it the same five minutes ago. I know, but now that we've talked about it, it makes sense to do a little cut because he brought up the point that they didn't vote it yes. No, so no, it it and every, at the end, everybody gets their vote. I'll just vote no. Okay. So, Take your boys and go home. No, I mean, I'm still here. Okay, okay, number 12. Run Road Run 12 did pass, so the town of 11 votes are raised and appropriate the sum of $50,000 for legal fees. We're requesting to drop that down to 38. Well, you're already over, right? We're already over, but we're hoping to keep it down this year. Yeah. Use MMA. They're good. I've been using them a lot. Yep. Did the 50,000 pass? No. No. Oh, yes. yes it oh, it did. Yes, it did. did. Yeah. It did pass. So you're still going to drop it 12? Yes. Mm -hmm. Do any? No. I think the loss is be less. Referendum 13, that's a contract, so we're, we're not touching that one. That passed. Number 14, contingency, sorry. Contingency fund for 50,000. We're looking to reduce that down to 25. Do we have any left from last year? Nope. Think that's smart? Nope. Didn't get any. Go with it down. Get a bad winter. Yeah, I know. Get a fire truck that breaks down, which they're continuing to break down. I mean, Especially. how much how much do we have to use out of contingency for fire this year? A lot. We're gonna get to that one. Special town meeting. Well thing with the plowing, yeah, we could have a special town meeting. Plowing. Well you can go fifty percent over. Mm -hmm. But without, you know, without, I mean, eventually you got to ask for it anyways, but you can right. go without. But any other department, you know what I'm saying, if you run out of contingency, then you can't spend a dime. Let's say general government, if you're, if you're over, you can't spend a dime unless you get permission. If you, once you run out of your contingency. So I'm just saying is this, it's really going to, I mean, you guys are the ones who are going to have to deal with it. But I'm well, it looks like they're going to have to pay attention to their budget and tighten their belt. Yeah, I'm fine. 100%. Okay, right, so we're going 25 on that? Yes. Everybody else out? Yep, yep. Uh, 15, land use. Uh, the budget right now is 109.565, which was defeated. I'm not sure we ever come to a solid number on this one. I was thinking like 38. Not <coughs> wrong. Oh, no, total 38. The forty, yeah, forty. Well, it, it's not. It's it's it didn't pass. I mean, it's not even remotely being passed. What was it last year for you? It was um. Ninety five six hundred one. I mean, the year before. What was it? <laughs> well, twenty eighteen has gone up one hundred thirty percent since twenty eighteen. I know that. Mm -hmm. It was 50, the actual cost. Uh, um, the <coughs> final numbers for 2018 were $59,192.52. So that's what we're talking about going with, right? That's now. what we're talking about. Yeah. Going so, what with. was that again? 60 grand. 
$59,192.52. Was what? What year? What was 2018. <coughs> For the year okay. 2018? Yeah, that was the actual cost. Yeah, but that had to, that was before we split the planning board and everything else. Yeah, well, well we're, break, we're breaking those out. Why? Well, no, they, Not, because they it didn't pass as one. So, so we're planning gonna, board clerk no, and her hours are different than now? we were keeping them on there, right? Keeping it in there and putting the... Well, I mean, we only got we only heard from one board about how much money was actually out of that total amount of money that was sent to that board, and it wasn't even a thousand dollars. So and this year, I think we're looking at the train. planning board had ninety one forty one the year before that. That was her salary, most of them, right? right. Appeals so. board had three hundred fifty six, and conservation had sixty nine. CEO had forty three three forty nine the year before that. That is not a lot. So I mean, to add them up, it's more than fifty nine even. Well, that's why we're break, going to break them up um, and have them the in separate lines. You say it. Yeah, Jen. Yeah, we're not going to do that. Really no, no, no. We, we, we weren't going to do that. I thought we were. No, we're going to we were going to leave it together and then break it up for the next one. But as yeah. for getting this, just getting some getting this back. done, we're going to leave it all together. Put training money in for the appeals board, and then so it's going to be fifty nine thousand. So therefore, that sixty thousand there does not include the plan board clerk. Who? You mean the land use? That, that number that she has. The, the number she's using right there. Us. You are correct. You're right. But it is going to this okay. time. So the sixty thousand. So okay. Does that so include you're the code, rid of code officer? officer? I, no, I don't think we're getting rid of them. Does we're that include? Changing, we're changing the money budgeted for the salaries. My question is, what is the <laughs> Secretary's position, land use clerk or whatever. What's her position? Because I'll tell you, I voted against it. Because why are we paying her to go do inspections with the code enforcement? Yeah, that she's doing more now. With, um, but, but why are we board. paying her to go do inspections? I don't. Think she's a clerk. She's not. She's not, she's board, she's not an inspector. I don't think the current board is. No, we're not. Doing that. We're, we're, we're gonna like like you're saying. We're gonna try to split that up. When we have actually time to do a referendum, she shouldn't but be. Yeah, she shouldn't. She be. does a lot of stuff. That's the thing. Okay, yeah, she does but, a lot of stuff. No, I, I, I don't think there'll be. I can't. I think this is personnel ever. stuff. Well, and it's job descriptions, not personnel. Yeah. Right? We're talking about an individual, not the job. So one hundred and nine five sixty five is going down to thirty eight thousand, no. and it's. Oh, it's going to fifty nine thousand total. Oh, okay. I'm so, I'm sorry. I was confused. Well, it, so there's a number of jumping around you a little bit, so we're they're going to try to don't write it down. It's already been shot down. That's the thing. So but the whole number for fifteen is going to be fifty-nine thousand. Correct. And that includes all the same same things. Yep. Can I ask how much you're going to pay the code office? Uh, we haven't crunched those numbers yet. Well, uh, sixty-four thousand. You was paying him. You paid him sixty-two last year. So you're going to give him a cut. We're going to make some cuts in the whole thing. Cutting his hours? Yeah, cutting his hours and his pay. And you expect him to stay? I don't know. We haven't gotten to those. Do you have enough well, you ought to get to Do you have enough in the legal budget? <laughs> For what? Just saying. Well, I watched a meeting the other night, and you guys were talking about the code enforcement's job and like a third party doing the inspections. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay? Mm hmm. My house, I had a third party do mine because of the code enforcement at the time. You know, me and him butted heads. So it cost me probably 400 bucks to do all my inspections. The only thing is that I couldn't get, he did the final occupancy permit, but then you have to go to the town to get that. So I don't know how you guys know how it works. Uh, third party inspector is actually more knowledgeable than a regular code enforcement officer because he can do an inspection in the whole state. He does more classes and all that stuff. So, why couldn't the town get him to give you an occupancy permit instead of going through all, you know, your third party and then the last phase, the town code? Yeah, you know, because I know a couple of people that needed an occupancy permit and our code enforcement wasn't here. He was on vacation. So, they had to wait like a week or two to get their occupancy permit. So how come the town wouldn't allow a third party to do the occupancy permit? You know, you paid him through the whole process. He's just as knowledgeable as our code enforcement. I don't know why they wouldn't. I don't know why we wouldn't either, Chris. Yeah. Well, I can't because I know, like I say, 
couple of people tried and he was, yeah. wasn't here and they had to wait for him to come back to right. do the sign off. Yeah. I would think a third party could do it. Well, 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 but not in this town. But I think, well, maybe. How much do they charge a third party? Mine was like 400 bucks for every inspection through the whole but time. How much does the town have to pay the third party? Nothing. 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 I hired them. That comes out of his pocket. I hired them. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if we did it for normally, mm -hmm. to get an inspection trip. What, what I looked into, if we use town, other town code enforcement offices, which we can, you know, if we run into an issue, um, it could be up to 100 bucks um, for them to come over. The main reason would be for um, stuff that's on the water. That, that's the biggest issue for the state. I'm just saying everybody's worried about, you know, if the code enforcement lap or whatever that was stuck. Well, we're not stuck. No, 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 we're not whoever, stuck. Whoever has the building permit could always go hire a third party. Right. The only thing is the select would have to let them give the occupancy permit. Well, who gives the building permit? Mm -hmm. The town would. Yeah, but who? We're going to have a code office. He just doesn't have to do every permit all the way along the way. You pay for your own permits through a third party inspector. Is it going to be a trained certified CEO or is it going to be? It might even be the same one. Yeah. yeah, they have to be trained by the state. They have to have the fire certification. I just, I just know that the code officers in your county switch jobs constantly because they know they can get a better job somewhere else. And if you don't give us at least a decent wage, even for half part time, cut the times. They're not. They're not going to stay here. You're going to. You're going to spend more money training them in the end. And if you don't get a qualified one, you're going to have all sorts of legal problems. So I did this before with the other There's a cost. There's a cost of not having correct ones. Whether it be residences, whether it be enforcement, whether it be buildings going up, whether it be subdivisions not being done or. Building permits being issued that shouldn't be, you know, issued. It's Jeff, do you still there. have that uh, paper that you pulled out there that had the average code enforcement officer salary in Maine? I don't have it with me. <laughs> you don't? But, I mean, the average code enforcement officer salary, like even in Portland, was only 48. Yeah, right? it's like 38,000. That, that, no that, that is wrong. I think you've got that from Indeed, which isn't right. If you go to MMA salary survey, you can actually look at the actual salary of every single town yeah some of them are different but they're all they're all pretty much right in there right now so what's north Berwick's? i didn't look at that you probably talked a lot that's over sixty thousand. okay so you already looked at it so <laughs> acton is over 60 i believe yeah. i mean they're smaller okay. so yeah i mean you look for he's got 20 years of experience is it acton and portland portland is, portland is over 60 they've got several can, can I make a suggestion? I'm not saying. Just saying. I'm the tax base is bigger. I'm just very concerned. 38000 and you're going to pay a, 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 an experienced, good code officer. If you don't, we're going to be. Well, we're trying to get some money. There's no money. It was shot down. You can use that as an Some of these other things were shot down, and you're bringing them back. I mean, I, I don't understand that, that thought mean, process. Well, not for full value. We, we feel there's a lot of excess money there. That's how Jeff feels that I right Jeff. Yeah. That's, that's I how think I you guys feel. have done great so far, but I I personally disagree with this code enforcement thing. I think you're going down a wrong road. You're okay. Okay. You can still vote no. Just like yep, I don't want to vote no on the other one. Yep, and I'm allowed to say my piece. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Can I make make a suggestion? I wish the selectmen would go back to the thing for the land use where you have to have what what is that thing called? I I know this. Where a study or whatever. The thing that passed. Remember the lane use ordinance that we went and had so many meetings on? Change the use. Change that was never that was that. done. The ordinance that is in place right now. Change of use one? Probably. Yeah, that's the one that you were talking about. Site review? A site review. A site review. Yeah. Okay. What, have you guys looked at that? Because to me, that costs the town a lot of money. You know, you got to, you know, the clerk's going to do all this. The code enforcement's going to do all this. And I watch a meeting, and like a guy puts a sign up, now that's a change of use. So now he's got to go I, through the plan board and all that. I, I'm not but yet you got that. places that are, for an example, right next door to me, he got a building permit for a storage unit. Now it's a medical marijuana place. Okay? So uh, why isn't he going through the plan board process? If he changed it, he changed it, shouldn't he? 
Is he? I personally don't like that. He still has the storage thing. sign up. That's why I can, nobody knows that he changed it. Okay, so let's, let's, let's try to get this back on track. I'm sorry. Well, I'm, I'm trying to get because I'm trying to save the town some money, and I think that thing there, you got the code enforcement, you got the clerk, all going because, like Don, he changed, put a sign up there, and now all of a sudden he's going to go to the plan book. Yeah. So that's costing us money because now we're going to change it all. I, yeah, I agree. But it doesn't have to cost the town money. You're allowed to charge fees to recoup those. Cost the town people money. Though. And planning board is all volunteer, right? You're paying first. So. Well, you still have the clerk and you still have the code enforcement yeah. involved. Well, let's let's just go back. But you make let's, the, let's, you make the just the uh, applicant pay the fees. Right. Right. The town doesn't have to pay the fees. Let us let us take that out of later. But let's just settle on a number right now. So we. Well, I don't know if we're settled. I don't know if we're settled. If you guys you guys can be settled, but I mean, well, we got we got a split board on this one. So it's, 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 I'm good with fifty nine, like Corinna said. I'm yeah, I want to see the numbers. See the numbers, I just, numbers yeah. I'm good with fifty nine, like Corinna said. I'll say sixty. That way, it's an even number. All right, sixty. I'm good with fifty nine, and you know, we change sixty with sixty. Sixty. Yeah. yeah. So what do you want to put? 59 or 60? 60. I'm good with 60. The other chairman. Ultimately, it's what you guys put in front of us. So no. I'm just saying for a number for now, Chip. Yeah. Okay. 60 is fine. All right. Number 16. No spray. I'll do it right this time. We're down both sides. How's that? I actually have that one. That's the one more. Can I ask you a few questions, sir? Yeah. About what Chris was just saying about these other uh, permits, the occupancy permit and stuff. We as a board <laughs> have the authority to write a referendum to allow a third party that issue or not that uh, selectly. Can someone pass that? Back up okay. here, the extra one. I'm sure. That's a great idea. It's takes down a lot of money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Currently, there is no contract with CMP for spring. Yeah, they slipped up, huh? 2018 is when it ran out. Yeah. What year? 2018 okay. is when it ran we out. talked about it, but they never actually sent us one, I guess. The estimated number they gave us for this year, is, which is what you see on the referendum, was 39,000. That was the estimated number they gave us. When I called and talked to them, they had re-voted. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not. re is the wrong word. I can vote. They had redone their contracts with their people that do the cutting for the acre. And with the new contract they made with them, it dropped our cost way down from 39000 to 24000 25000 So did they renegotiate the contract or did they rebid it? They, they said they rebid it. Yeah. There, that's what you which, which, changed, which changed us. Just a point to guess, last year's was based on that same discussion. So if they rebid it and it really didn't cost, then we probably we might want to retalk them about and see if we can get a credit. Because I don't think we paid at that money still in the account, isn't it? Yes, we haven't paid them anything yet. Yeah. Okay, so but I'm just saying before you pay what was originally agreed upon, if they uh, we don't owe them anything for 2019. No, we owe them for 2019. So, <laughs> so and that's the one. Well, right now we have 29,000 as. In the unexpended balance of close out of 2019. Okay, so that's the what that was what was budgeted. Right, right. gotcha. That's sitting there, and, and, <laughs> and so they're saying it's 24.4. It's going to be 24.6. Okay, or 24,062 dollars. So are you asking for 24 or 24 and? Well, let me let me finish. The way this is set up now, if you look down to the proposed payment schedule, we asked them to not charge us for 2020. We're taking 2020 and splitting it over the next three years just to give us a little breathing room for <coughs> some extra money. So why not pay them the 29 that's already been budgeted and appropriated for and carry that 5000 into those other three payments? So it gets it down this is what we're talking about. Yeah. Which will drop the payments, payments down a little bit. Not a whole lot, but it would really help. In three years. But either way, 2020 would be a, a zero year. Okay. Now, the contract, again, has not been written up and done, but that's that's in the process. So, therefore, this 16 stays as is? 16 will be zero. Yeah, yeah. stays as is. No, so you don't even, it doesn't even come up. No. Right. Because it doesn't enter into the equation. Right. Anything defeated if we don't bring it up? Just 
It's defeated. Yeah. Right. But you don't need it to. You don't need it to break. Right. 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 But that thirty-nine thousand gets pulled off that bucket. Exactly. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. Seventeen. But my thing is, what, what, so what, do, what do what do other towns do? Because you ride through Saco, you know, any other town in Maine, and the stuff six seven feet tall in the thing, and they're supposed to be spraying, right? Well, don't don't forget, Chris. A lot of towns don't have power lines going through them. There's only yeah. a few towns that do. No, but I'm saying no, really. Well, I mean, I'm saying you only have a couple of quarters. It's not like okay, but you you ride down through like Saco and stuff, the back roads, and the power lines are seven or eight feet tall. It's not down ground level. So what are they doing for vegetation? You know? Yeah, good question. They can find out. Yeah. Well, we haven't signed the contract yet, but that's something that... Yeah, that probably ought to be reviewed. It's been how long since we had the no spray, you know? And they've, they've changed their policy quite a bit as far as how they do it. They cut most of it and they spray by hand a little bit. They don't... Most of all the towns do it. I mean, you go down along 236 there. Lucas was just in there. The only thing they do is they weed whack around the poles. Right. Just, the rest of the power line is eight feet tall. Yeah, they, they just got tired of it and whatever, but that, they don't pay anything either. So, I mean, we ought to review that for next year. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Before before we sign it, but that, you know, that, even no matter what, it's not going to change the, yep. the budget. Worst case, it doesn't it's, change. Doesn't yeah. It. Worst case, we, we don't. So you have plenty of time to really lower, but for tonight's purpose. Yep. I just want to clarify something because the selectmen's meeting, you guys were talking about this. Yep. And you said Dick Thompson, the town paid Dick Thompson to do the power lines. The town never paid Dick Thompson to do the power lines. I didn't say that. No, okay. but at the selectmen's meeting, it was yeah. stated. Dick Thompson worked for CMP. He was subcontracted to do the power lines. Right. He'd do one side, then the next year he'd do the other side. I just want to clarify okay. that, that the town never paid him. Okay. Okay. Okay, uh, 17 passed. It's for the recreation department, fifteen hundred dollars. We didn't change that at all. All right, fifty six hundred dollars. Five thousand sixty. Yeah. Five thousand six hundred. Not fifteen hundred. We don't want to touch that. No. Nope. Why? Um. Does a lot for the kids in the town. And how much are you really saving? There's a lot there. And Trunk retreat and things like that. The kids were okay. Really, just ask. Them. No, that yeah, yeah. that's the answer. And it was passed pretty overwhelmingly. Mm -hmm. Any other comments? Referendum eighteen, transfer station four hundred thirty-eight thousand two hundred thirty-five dollars is what was passed. We were looking to reduce that to three ninety-eight two thirty-five. But something happened on after you left Tuesday that changed my thought on that one. So cutting forty thousand is that right? Yes. We got a bill afterwards for uh, thirty thousand dollars. At least one of Yeah. For that month of June, which was not figured into our original numbers. I'm still okay with the 40. I think we'll be able to. I think if you guys tackle, that's an issue. Just that's an issue that's been needed to be tackled and hasn't been for years. Yeah. No, because um, nobody wants to touch it. It's it's not going to be an easy task, and it's kind of hard to manage it when you're down here and it's up there, and yeah. there's a bunch of different issues. But I think there is savings there, and yeah. Recy yeah. recycling there may be savings depending yeah. on what you guys. Yeah, I, I suppose recycling. them up there, and they said that they they had a lot of ideas to save them money. So, I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. I just, I think there is savings up there. I think yeah, I agree. somehow you put somebody at the gate, checking stickers, I think you can save some punish. Um, but, you know, you guys have to be, you guys have to be willing to tackle that. It's not going to be a fun. It's a political hot potato. It is. And nobody wants you know, to touch I already, it. I already, I already talked why. to them. I already talked to them. They already gave me a bunch of ideas. Yeah. I'm all for every idea they gave me. I'll give you a couple ideas. Right. The first thing is recycling. <laughs> what we're doing right now, yeah. Yeah. get rid of that. It's yeah. costing us so much. That's one of the ideas yeah. they said. Okay, get rid of that. The yeah. second thing is our metal. Yeah, change that. Okay, we, 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 Goes we're bringing it to Berwick. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Berwick used to bring a can and put it there. Right. And we put put the metal in the can. We're not getting hardly anything for our metal. Well, you want to know why? Because we're throwing it on the ground. Then we hire a truck to come load it and bring it to Berwick. Why not just put a can there? 
have them come get it and bring it to the to the place of business. Yeah, 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 yeah. The metal thing is going to be revisited. And, and right? we're also getting yeah, hit. We're also getting hit for. Let's uh, let's move. Time. Let's move on. Well, I brought, well uh, right. I'm trying right. to save you some money. Yeah, absolutely right. Yeah, but let's but let's let's look at that later, please. Please. Any suggestions you can give us to save money? Well, I'm trying to, but getting shut down. Oh yeah, no, just just delay. Not shut down. Delay. Yeah, we're we're heading down that trail. Uh, you're talking I, I, about. I'll okay, number 19. So what's the price on that? $40,000. $40,000. 35 dollars Are we taking a look at 19? 18? 40. 40 grand. 40000 And where'd that come from? Both Things down. you just were talking about. But when you actually show us the budget and the line items, is this is going to come off of the, the tonnage number? Is that really where you're going to? Yeah, it's going to come from a couple of different areas, but more money we'll coming out of the money out of the waste management. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I had a question. We can go down the road now. We can go down to next week. We can go down to next year. <laughs> the price that they charge us, I think it's trash. Yeah. Yeah. There's a trucking fee in there somewhere. Everybody says no, there's no trucking fee. Yeah. But so somewhere or another. But somewhere we're paying pay for the trucking fee, right? Yeah. Because any other town's paying a lot less than we are. Probably like yeah, 20 bucks a ton. Built into the tonnage numbers. Built right, but everybody, every, every time I mention this, it said that there's no, no trucking fee. We're it's not, by the contract, we're not charged a trucking fee, but yes. Pay it, we're not charged it. You guarantee it's built into the number. Oh yeah, okay, so, so can, we, can, we, can we find out what that trucking fee is yeah. and find out from them? Because if we get rid of the commercial haulers, that's a huge, that's probably almost 30 grand a year that we're paying for trucking fees, whether you believe it or not. Can I uh, answer that the best I can right now? Uh, the waste manager was up at the dump Monday. We're supposed to be there and get together with Mr. Patch this weekend over what they talked about. One of the biggest problems right now is we own some uh, roll-offs, 15, these are 15 yards, and they're not been given to us. So they're stopping, loading these ones, stopping, loading them, uh, so they're trying to find those as well. But I will be following up with Mr. Patch this weekend, because um, we're getting with our waste management on Monday. Those are some of the questions that were asked. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of money to be saved. Yeah, and a lot of money. A lot, a lot of what you, it's a cash cow, that's all it is. Yeah. What you, I'll say how it is. A lot of things you just brought up. Absolutely yeah. is, and they'll, they'll tell you the same thing. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, they're not going to tell you, because that's your job. No, no, no. Let's go to 19. Let's go to 19, please. Highway department, we didn't change anything now. No, they're getting a salt and sand budget. <laughs> Number 20. No change to that one at the moment. <laughs> Twenty-one has to do with the bridge. I got, I got a question on oh, twenty. I'm so sorry. On twenty. Yeah. Have we had the bid specs yet for the paving? No. I got to. I got to ask you guys as a board. Who's doing the paving bid? Because I watched the selectmen's meeting. They're going. I asked that question. They're going off. The last the reworking bids from the previous year. Okay, because I watched the selectmen's meeting and you asked the road commissioner how the paving bid's coming. And he tells the selectmen that FR Carroll's doing the paving bid. Why is the person that's bidding on it doing the actual bid? Yeah. Why, why doesn't the town just take the bid that it was two years ago? And put that out that's instead true. of having Frankie Carroll do our bidding. That's the answer. Bidding process, right? right? That's what you said we're doing, right? Okay. What are you doing? What you just said. Why? No, the one we're taking it from two years ago. Paul said, right? That's what well, we're looking at. Right. No, because at the selectmen's meeting, the road commissioner said Frankie Carroll is doing the bid specs. Right. How is that even right when he's the one that's bidding on it? it he shouldn't be. That's why. So I, why are you guys allowing it? I, I didn't think we were. That's why I asked him the other day, and his answer was, "We're going off the old bid." So I was going to make sure myself and. And then when when, when I watched the meeting, Laura asked what roads we were doing, and he said that Frankie Carroll was looking at the roads that he wants to do. So who's our road commissioner doing the paving? Is it Frankie Carroll? Is it the it town? Is it the selectmen? It should be Scott, right? Should be Scott. Let's uh, 
No, I'm asking Paul because yeah, no, 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 you know, no five hundred thousand. All good questions. Five hundred. You know, you can keep telling you know telling me to quiet. We'll move on. And everything else. No, 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 but no, I want no, the answers. They're all good questions. I want answers on where the money's coming from and who's I, doing the bidding. I, I think yeah. that the because why is Libby Scott's Scott? Event. Why is Libby Scott? Why is Dayton Sand and Gravel Brocks? Any of them going to bid on it? When the guy that's doing the paving right now is doing the bid specs. Yeah. No, I I think the board. And this is something that the selectmen have to realize when you pave. Okay, you get paid by the yard. So if you're putting three inches down or you're putting six inches down, that's where your money's going. Okay, so you 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 know Frankie Carroll, whoever can pick the roads that they want to do, they're going to pick the shittiest roads in town because they're going to make the most money, filling in a six inch hole, than fixing a road and putting two or three inches of mix. Right. Do you have a road commissioner that knows how to how to spec a road? How to we have, we've had the same bid specs for years. So why now all of a sudden are we going to have the one that's doing the paving do the bid specs? Does that sound like a conflict I, I of won't, interest? I won't. I'll admit myself. I'll I'll put that out that we don't allow that because it's not right, and I don't think. I don't know how the other board members still came, learning the but the I don't. Commission, I don't. But yeah, I yeah, agree that's, with you. that's I, not right. Not, yeah, I. Well, when he says that, right. says that, that's the answer. I mean, that's that a bit fresh coming in. I'm on the phone every day. I mean, with that him. was our first meeting. I think. So. It, it also might, if you guys eventually get an engineering firm, that might be a very easy thing to do. Is ask them to get a template bid spec from the engineering firm yep. that you guys can use for the next several years. I think that's a very good idea. You can get them from MMA too. MMA has. Yeah, no, I, I don't think that that's acceptable for the person who's. So why are we doing a job? I, <clears throat> we have FF Carroll was sold too, just so everybody knows. Yeah, they were sold. Yeah, okay. They, but still, they still uh, no, no, bid specs. I understand that. That's when when, the when were they sold? Uh, there was some, yeah, oh, right. I can say that. So Frank is in. Uh, no, no, no. Speak out against that. Because when I heard them, them answers, it don't kind of trapped me. Don't even say FF Carroll. Why is the paving company doing the bids? Why are they telling us what they're going to pay? Somebody else mentioned that to me too, and I. I didn't, I didn't register. It, it, it was brought meeting. up already that the, these other companies used to bid, bid on these jobs and, you know. But well, why are they going to? Well, that's, that's why are they going to bid on I know, well, somebody yeah, else? I, I, don't, I understand. I don't, as a town, I don't think we should have a person that wants to bid on our work writing the bids. Not only that, if you, if, like I say, you're getting paid by the yard. Yeah. Okay, so if you're a dollar or two cheaper a yard, but you're putting six inches of mix down, what does it matter? Yeah. You're still making your money. Maybe uh, maybe you could help write the bids. And I'm not writing the bids. We have bids from <laughs> two years ago. Right. Use them. Do you guys know what roads they're going to do? I, no, I, I, know know that, I know there's some patches. Well, I, I, I will say do. I asked uh, the commissioner last week uh, if I could get a list of what's being done because that's one of the questions. I'm getting a lot of emails, and that's the majority of them. What, what road's getting done, where it's getting done, when's my road going to be done? So I asked him to put the, together a list of the roads that he will be doing, and I'm supposed to be getting that. So and is that happens. how is that meshed with the road study that the town paid money for? Yeah, we're uh, waiting for it. Yeah, because uh, that that plan gets approved by you guys. Yeah. Okay, I mean, Kevin Frankie Carroll's working on it. I'm just, I mean, obviously there's some there's some stuff that the winter blew up all the parts of the road that they're doing, which kind of have to happen. But yeah, yeah. Now there there, there was a lot of questions that I asked that I put out that I'm supposed to be getting answers for coming up. Um, we'll see. And, you know, that's all I can right, say. Right now, the budget's taking up a lot of time, and yeah. I think those are things. That are I mean, another that. thing is, why do we wait? We're, we're like the last town around here to get paved. I've seen where they had to actually grade the snow off to pave the roads. Why aren't we doing it? You know, get the roads ready and then get them paved. Why do we wait till like October, November? Whatever. I'll shut up. Eat your, eat your no, Snickers. A lot of good, a lot eat of Snickers. Eat your Snickers. A lot of good, too. <laughs> a lot of good points, sir. My wife stole your other one. <laughs> I, I, I totally uh, agree with you on that. Yep. So, just so you know. Myself as well. Okay, referendum number 21, Bridges. Uh, I got a call from DOT saying that the project is now looking to be delayed. It's not starting to 2021. We're proposing to cut the 40,000 down to 20,000 at this time. And what are you going to do about the other bridges in town that are already in need of repair? Oh no, because that one bridge, yeah. There, there are other bridges involved. And I think and there's not money in the capital reserve now. Right, but most of that is for this other bridge. I'm saying. Mm -hmm. 
You're putting it guys because it's the in the bridge county. on Upper Giddy Road, that is the main yep. bridge into here, the DOT has already inspected it, has major issues. Yep. When that goes down, it's going to be big money and you're not going to have it. Yeah, well, I think there's, like I said, so short-term thinking is going to screw you long-term. I think there's there's money in the capital reserve, right? And that can be used on any bridge that's in the capital reserve, correct? Am I wrong? It's not earmarked for that specific bridge. But it's in the capital yeah. reserve. It's real. It's just an investment guy. So long-term investments. I'm just saying yeah. that. Just no, you're right. You yeah. got to have money to invest, yeah. though. Yeah, you do. So what are we cutting this down to? Twenty. 20. 20. And there is money in there as well. Do you know how much is in by any chance? I don't. Karina. Karina has it. 64,000. Karina has it. Numbers grow. Yeah. Did you get the book? 64? Yeah. That's one. That's one. 64,985 is the last number I yeah. have, and I don't think we spent anything. No, no. So it's a good bit in there. Uh, no, what do we need? 120, I think, is what the number is. <laughs> that's, that's going. That's, yeah. That's going up. 141. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. going up. 64,988. But it's not for a couple of years. Right. A, right, but my point is that the road it. still has to go up. If you look at the referendum, how are you going to next year? You're going to so should be going up to 750. Mm -hmm. I mean, just based on the non-binding referendum, people are in favor of putting. There's going to be a lot of a lot yeah, of small costs save money. A lot a lot of things. It's just a matter of okay. taking the year to do it and making the cuts. There's almost 65,000 in there now. Yeah. Got it. <clears throat> okay. Any other questions in 21? Comments? 22. Some of 10,000 for the Salmon Falls watershed protection. We That passed and we made no change to that. Number 33. That one. I'm sorry. Number 23. Oh, I'm sorry. Any comment on 22? Mm -hmm. Referendum number 23. And the uh, fire department with 499.503, that one passed, and we didn't make any changes to that one. Now, am I correct in that you, I think it was your workshop or whatever, that the fire department was over on their budget? Yeah. Yes. By how much? 23, 28? 5%. Yeah, 24. I remember right. So it was because uh, a truck that they bought. Fires over 28,713. How much? 28,713. The majority of that was, was repairs to 143. Where's that number? Because I'm showing 23,450 yeah, on your 23. expense report. Yeah, that's because I didn't give you the ones that just went through yesterday. I had to do a lot of refiguring yesterday afternoon. So why were they over? Uh, the truck they bought from Berwick, they need a lot of repairs at the day, so they've been repairing a lot of it. Just bad Step deal. over a dollar to pick up a dime, because it's shiny. Yeah. I said they could have done without it. I mean, they didn't need it. They could have done without it. <coughs> yeah, we're going to try to put, put more in. into that one, then, yeah. then they can't. Yeah. And then should have got a new one, squad, too, what they should have done, yeah. instead of played around with Berwick's junk. Yeah, I'm still trying to figure out where they got why they got rid of the van. That cost them because they yeah, gave that away and then they put they got what twelve thousand for it. And that's what the truck was worth, and then we had ten thousand into it for shelving and everything else that we put into it, the corporation did. So because it's the reason was so you can haul hose and stuff. The town owns a one ton now. Yeah, I mean you can do that. But I, mean, I mean you can't pull the one ton off a road job to cool no, it. The primary accident. thing was the van is if you have a generator, any kind of gas. Yeah, but you didn't need the gas. I never had the gas in there. I'm just saying what was... I'm just saying we have a one ton now because before they used to pay somebody to go pick up their hose or... Well, I mean, the hose comes on a truck, it goes back on a truck. Right. Know. And the, the gas was stored in the truck. And then, I mean, the pickup is good, but it's still, you know, I mean, the van did the job. Exactly. And it was paid for. Yeah. So I mean, that, that that went out. put a lot more into that too. So a lot of that money went into that and didn't have to. You know, that's that's you know he didn't know nobody else there knew because it's all new people and yeah the chief that was there before was you know, just. I wouldn't be against the audit anyway. So we got the equipment. Yeah. What's up? 
uh, to see what we get for equipment, doing a lot of equipment, so we can do a study on what's going to be replaced, and so that sort of thing. Yeah. And all needs to be replaced, but I don't get time. All of it's what you said. Yes. Thank you, Joe. Okay, anything else on 23? No, we'll go to 24. 24 did not pass. We didn't change that, so it's 30,000 coming off. So you, so you, this is going to go to zero? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't pass anyway. So. Yeah, thank you. Uh, 25 for the clothing, 2,500. We didn't touch that one. This passed, though, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah you have to. Referendum 26 passed, and we didn't change that one. That's for the uh, communication. Mm -hmm. 27 passed. That was for the self breathing. We didn't change that. One. Thirty-eight passed. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Sorry, I'm trying to read. Is that fifteen hundred? No change to that one. Twenty-nine. That one passed. This is for the library, 19,000. We didn't do any change to that one. 30. Number 30, general assistance, 15,000. That one passed. No change to that one either. Number 31. That one passed. This is for the relief agencies, $12,464. No change to that one. <laughs> 32, that passed with cemeteries, 21,000. No change. 30, what, any comments? 33 doesn't have a dollar value, so we didn't do anything with that. Of course, 34. I'm like, no dollar value. 35, has to do with the unexpended funds from the prior year to the unsigned restricted fund balance. <coughs> We've been toying with that one whether to ask that to be changed or to. <coughs> take some funds out of the general fund, which we'll get to that in a minute. So while we're on this one, I think that's probably a handy time for me to hand out this, is that during the selectmen's meeting, passed out a paper and said that we were a million three hundred and eighty four thousand in the red after paying the salaries and stuff. And that just didn't sit right with me. That, that I think, though, uh, if I'm wrong here, Paul, is based on three months expenditures out of it. Yeah, that, well, uh, all the way until now, March, April, and May. I mean, with, we're past with no, that. With no offsetting revenue. Exactly. So that's exactly have, it. We is that property taxes that come in, which is a huge thing. Yes. So that, 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 that number. Are done. Well, uh, we're, I thought we were having a discussion here. You well, I'm not done telling you what I thought. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm just saying I think that number is misleading because of It is misleading, hugely misleading, because we're not in the right at all. No, that's what <coughs> we talked about. Yeah. So, um, actually, I, uh, I went back and, and had help from Jeanette. We pulled a whole bunch of different paperwork over the past couple of days, and uh, she asked me to hand you this because, number one, there were no revenue show. Second, the question came up about the ambulance because this says you have to take the ambulance amount, 240000 out of it, but did that, wasn't that through a vote? So why would that be out of the uh, unrestricted instead of out of the restricted fund? Because that was a vote to pay that off, right? 2017. And it, was a, it was a vote to pay it out of the unrestricted fund. It was? Out of the general fund, yes. Out of the general fund. The general fund is also considered the unrestricted. Mm -hmm. So I actually I have that okay. here. I have that here that was, and maybe this is erroneous because it kind of freaked me out when I read it. She kept asking me, where is it? But the actual referendum question 13 says, shall the town of Lebanon vote to raise and appropriate the sum not to exceed $55,000 per year for a four-year lease purchase for one Lifeline Superliner Ambulance and emergency equipment accessories with a total price of 
299,323. So. Plus the, if you look at the date on that one. Yeah. So, no, the date on the first page of those referendum items. Right. The date on the first page. Okay. Well, I didn't understand it. That's why I'm asking. So that's, I just, this was brought, <clears throat> brought to my attention today. So if you see the date, mm -hmm. what's the date? May 19th, 2017. 17th. Yeah. Two years before. Should be two years before. So where? Why is that in? Because the next year, because it because it was a, because when mm -hmm. that was put together, yeah, the wrong referendums were pulled out. That should be. So it's not me. The wrong referendum. That should be here. June of eighteen numbers. So we we don't have a copy of that. So I asked for a copy of those, and I was told they couldn't find any. I asked for a certified copy because I knew that this was wrong. I knew that this was wrong because we June. voted to pay it. Well, so that was 17, which was yeah. correct. So June of 18, which I believe is the one you're looking for. Right. The town clerk should have that because they have to certify. I was told they could not find it. And I think it's, I right, on, I think it's right on the website too as well. The June of 18 one is? Yeah. And that yeah. actually has go in, go into the, in this payment? On the web page, on our web page, just do a search for results. Okay, uh, and that fund. says on it, it's out of the unrestricted fund. Okay, so that's general fund. It may say on general fund. It may say unrestricted. I don't know what to go go to the where we voted or where the ballot is like in the back pages of it. It'll give you what the current one is. I think. What in that's this? I saw it's it. not. Yeah. This is the current. This is no, what we voted well, on okay. to June you know, you 2019. Year, give you the, yeah. Previous year, we'll give you the previous year. Give you. Oh, no. yeah, you have it, right? Not, not this one, but the one. So, where the money came from, from being able to. At any rate. Do you know what number it was? Uh, that one would have been fairly early, I think. I think it was one or two. It was where I remembered it being was number one or two. But then I couldn't find it, and then I'm looking at the town report, and yeah, they don't so put the right one in the town report. One. So the town 11 authorized them to purchase an 18 <laughs> life fund ambulance, including a power loader, for 244000 with funds from the available balance of the fire equipment CIP, and shall the town appropriate the remaining amount of this purchase from the town's undesignated restricted fund. So that the should the have come out of this. Huh? So that should have come out of this. Out of the general fund, yeah. I mean, it's the names are, they actually call it restricted because I think- Right, that's what I'm it's, asking. It's restricted because you have to have a town vote, but it's undesignated, which means it's the general fund. So what the paperwork was that was given out says the unrestricted fund. So is it the designated or the unrestricted or the restricted or what is Again, it? It's, so, it's, it's the wordings are horrible. Um, right, it doesn't make it easy to follow along and figure agree. things out when nobody so can. The, the general fund is considered, I believe, I'm not a traitor, but I believe the general fund is considered the undesignated restricted fund. Undesignated or because it's undesignated. It's not designated. Right, it's any, put in there, and, and then you have. But don't, do you have to have a vote? To, basically, you know, to everything is everything is restricted. Yeah. Can, can I interrupt? I, I I think that I don't think this really has anything to do with tonight. I think we, we can bring it up tomorrow night. He's not going to be here tomorrow night, and he knows the answer. I'd well, like. I mean, it's a budget committee. Is this a budget committee meeting? Or a budget budget meeting? Committee meeting? Right. I thought it was going to go over the budget. I don't know what. It well, it's a budget committee meeting. So I guess right. it's up to our vice chairman whether right. or not Chip can explain it. Didn't you just explain it by saying that it was the part the warrant was in the wrong? Well, that warrant is. So that, basically, trying, all the, all the I'm funds. I'm trying to figure out this. So all the funds, from from everything I've known, all the funds that we have are restricted in the sense that the selectmen cannot spend a penny without, without a vote. permission from the voters. Okay, so so one would argue that all of the funds we have, the general fund, whatever you want to call it, is a restricted fund. Okay, okay but we have some that are designated. They may be for this trust or that trust or whatever. Okay. We have designated <laughs> funds for CIPs, and then you have an undesignated restricted fund. And then I believe it's the undesignated restricted fund that's considered the general fund. Okay. Thank you, Chip, for that explanation. Thank right. you. Yeah. Yes, is it confusing? Is it sometimes it's called the undesignated? Perhaps. I've always just called it the general fund, but... It's, but there's actually more pieces to the general fund, right? Well, no, the general fund is just the checking account, basically. It's what we pay our bills out of. Okay. And then you have everything else that has what I consider a special purpose. It could be a CIP, it could be the Shaft of Trust, it could be whatever. 
Okay, so, so anyway, maybe you'll take a look at that. So that's what she well, says. Well, you, well, you plan on doing yeah. 35. That's what she says should actually be there, but she notes that there's $40,000 that seems to have appeared that she can't figure out where it appeared from. I don't know where this, this number so, came from. I just so told you that. 35? Well, she's not a treasurer, so we're going to let the roll. She is a treasurer. She's not here. But I, I did about 35 right to know where you got them all from here. Than trying to so it's all paperwork from here. I'd have to see yeah. what else is. I think that would be better. Okay. We're not going to change it. Okay. 35, no change? Yeah, 35, no change. What's all that? Sorry, I had so to understand just, it. <laughs> the right even, understanding. If, even if you want to take some money out of there, I don't think you have to change 35 to do it because it's already after the after the right. year. So 35 doesn't need to be redone. You just want to say, hey, you want to just appropriate, the, appropriate 100000 from the general fund or whatever. It's just, right. It would just show the offsetting amount so it wouldn't look like as, as much. Coming you could say X amount was rolled over from that's, the previous year. And that's how we were talking about it. Right now. Everybody else that? Yeah. I'm cool. Okay. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. On your uh, expense summary sheet that you have. Under general government, yep. want, want to add another forty-seven hundred and sixteen dollars to that, please. As under general that. government. Under forty-seven four thousand seven hundred sixteen dollars and ninety-four cents. It shows a, it shows a higher. Are you on thirty-six or thirty-seven? No, I'm on expense spend. Spend sheets. Four four thousand. One ten, right? Just yes. This. Okay, it just shows what six thousand in there or something like that. Um, uh -huh. Well, six thousand total, which is ten and thirty through elections and that. Right. But just town admin is only twelve hundred and change. Yeah. Well, total. Take out four thousand seven hundred sixteen dollars and ninety four cents because that these are bills that have not been have been paid but not applied as of yet. Okay. Transfer station. Take out twenty nine thousand five hundred and sixty three dollars, and I'll take that from the plus factor to the negative factor. Twenty nine thousand five hundred and sixty three forty two point forty two. To we'll take you from negative twenty five thousand. Uh, actually, I thought the transfer was ahead at the top. Still mm -hmm. so positive number nine. Mm -hmm. 10, 10. Yeah. Right, I'm showing it's only 4,200 left. Just like, yeah, there won't be. That's what no, so I'm saying. So you, if you've got 29,000, so right. I mean, that means you're in the hole by 25? Right. Correct. Right. That's correct. Right. That's correct. You have that in contingency? Can you give me that number again? We're going there. We're going there. 29,563.42. I'm sorry, Paul. <clears throat> Can you give me the government number again? Yep. Yeah. 4716.94. Thank you. Animal control. What number are you calling? Uh, it's two, four, two. Yep. Take out $447.30. Okay. They won't affect that one too badly. But. Highway, which is 36. Yep. Take out $42,172.02. All right. Cemetery, which is 80. $2,289.98. Can you give me that again? $22. Thank you. <clears throat> Codes. 
$270.86. And it's number 15. So. 15. And what's the number? 270.86. Thank you. Library, which is number 55. One oh two point eight five. And the last one I have is fire, which is number fifty one. Five thousand two hundred and sixty two point seven six. <coughs> So then you're going to have to go back to the people and ask for more money because well, you're, you're me, over you're over your contingency. Let me let me get there. We're going in. Before we go, let me just finish up on the on the ballot. Now the reduction numbers have changed because I think we, we cut a little bit more tonight than than we originally had. Originally, we had it down to $408,738. Say, say that more time. Four hundred eight seven thirty eight is what we had for a total until we made some more cuts tonight, which I didn't track. You say that one more time, Paul. Four hundred eight seven thirty eight is what we had originally. So we've increased that a little bit because we, we did some extra. That's plus nine. Yeah. The, the stretcher. The stretcher was uh, eight, eight thousand. Wow. So that brings that down to seventeen. So that brings it to nine, three ninety-one. Oh, brings it up, right? And we raise that up. But we're saving seven, so now we're going to be saving fifteen. Yep. Yep. So that'll be another eighty up from add on to that. Yep. And then ten for the. Um, it took off an additional 10 for bridges. No, no. no. Buildings? Buildings, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Building 10. 10. Yeah. That's another 10. So it's another 27. So it brings up to 435, 738. 35, 738. Yeah. Okay. Did you get the other 10 from the building? Yeah, yeah, you just did that. Yeah. Okay, so that give me now? Yeah. How much did you have to cut? Did you say what was that number? Five five nine six one three is what we started with. Six one three. Six one three. Basically one twenty four. What was that number you checked? 435 one? Yeah, 435, 738. Thank you. That brings us to 123,865. That you still need to cut? Yeah. 123,865. Take that out of the general fund. You say that one more time, Chuck. Yeah, 123,65. Okay, of that, taking all the unexpended funds that you just played with on your expense sheet, there's still $82,000 going back into the undesignated funds. Rolling, so the excess, rolling in. So the excess 41. Unexpended from the budget balance. is 80 something something. 82,000. So that puts 41,865 is the difference coming out of general funds. You still need, but you but you have you spend more than. You know. Well, that's we're not even into that dead area. I'm just saying, but that's pulling out of that eighty number. 
Correct. That's correct. Overall. Overall, which we can't transfer it. I, you can't do that. You have to ask permission, but yeah. Right. But I'm just saying for the number. Right. Yeah. So yes, that's what we were thinking about doing, potentially uh, taking some out of the pressure on Disney funds to balance it off this this budget. If it makes sense, and then you guys get, try to get a year to figure out what you want to do. Okay. Three two thousand went back in. If we can make some more cuts, we might be able to get it to a hundred thousand going back in next year for the same budget. No, yeah, until, you're, until you're dealing with it day in and day out, right. I think this is best you're going to do, and then you're going to deal with it. And you, your opinions may change next year. <laughs> so, you guys just got to get it under your belt and. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about, because we were talking about contingency, where we're at. Uh, let me tell you what the overages are at the present time based on the last runoff I got yesterday. <laughs> I can't remember right in there for a minute. Do you have all this written out or printed out or whatever for the next meeting poll? I can. Yeah. Can you get it sent to us too? Or even email them maybe a day ahead of time or whatever before the meeting. Okay. Legal is. guys figure out your numbers because the numbers are going to change a little bit once yeah. you guys. Legal is 15,000 over. 15,063. Planning board 700. Who was the first one? 15,000 over? Legal. 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 Hmm. Planning board is $779.53 over. Codes is 159.42. Okay. Transfer station is $25,329.65. What's that number again? 25000 329.65. Fire is 28,713.75. Ambulance, the new one we bought was $43.51. Hold on a second. Didn't get the fire chief just say that he um, he realized that there were some funds in Massachusetts that were supposed to come back to us from that ambulance? Didn't he just uh, apply to get those back? He might, but they won't come out of that. They won't cover the bill. Say it again. How much was it again? Say it again on the ambulance. In the ambulance, if you look in your sheets, it shows $43.51 on the... In the right, mm -hmm. but... There was leftover but, money that went in. Again, I guess my point is, is that oh, it said that the balance of the CIP Right. Whatever number that was, which is in the 50 something range, and everything else was supposed to come out of the general fund. So there's there's no there was no specific dollar amount for that, so it can't be over. Right. What's the budget? That's what it shows in the sheet. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But do you understand what I'm saying? It, right. It can't be. Oh. Yeah, I, I mean, it's only $43, but I'm just saying. And there was money right that was left saying. over that they put into that. That's basically money covered by the general in fund. In Massachusetts, because it was over, they paid over, and so they put it into that unclaimed money fund, and so Chief was going back to get that out of that. And I I want to tell you, it's right about that much, isn't it? Yeah, they were picking it's right about that no, Unless they, so they're saying that, so what they, yeah, so they, there's a 244 number here. That must be what they're looking at. There's a 244016 number. And so it must have been $43 more than that. Which, yeah, I guess that's over. It's more than what was allowed for. I know you're going to get rid of that number yeah. somehow. It was more than it was allowed for. Yeah. Library is 1062.14. What is it in 1062.14. Library was over? By $1,000? Yeah. Yeah. Now, and so all of her raised funds are used for zero? That's in a separate thing. What do you mean a separate thing? Wow, so our library listed separately in number 86. I guess my point is that she gets raised funds that roll. Yeah. Yeah, I very different line. 
752. Oh, all I can tell you, that's where I'm sitting on the sheet. I haven't, so I have not talked to Stacy. A lot of times, it's, it's, at least it was like, she'd never go over budget because she's got raised, she raises funds right. to help do a lot of the purchases. And so, mm -hmm. so I, I just, I'm not sure that's, I double check that number. Is right. Fine. Yeah. Right. These numbers have got to be, you know, yep. fine. I mean, again, that's what it is. What I'm just saying is that this, right. right now it's, it's there. Yep. And then the last one is the school, $1,729. How did that happen? What's the number again, Paul? 1729. And all of these are, in, are on this report. They give us a number that's, it's a number, right? So, I mean, I don't know how to. Yeah. You call off the report. So, did we go over on the road? <coughs> no. Under by a few thousand. Yeah, actually, the road's carried over. So. So we have a total of seventy-two thousand eight hundred and eighty dollars and sixty-seven cents so in overages. Seven hundred. Seven seventy-two thousand eight hundred and eighty and sixty-seven cents minus the contingency of forty-eight thousand one hundred and sixty-eight dollars and forty-one cents. You're gonna have to say that again too. I'm sorry. Forty-eight one sixty-eight yeah. four one. Forty-one. Yeah, roughly 24 grand. Yep, 4, 7, 12. Yep. 0. 0.26. Shouldn't, shouldn't the department heads be paying more attention to their budgets? Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. 100%. I mean, why are we even sitting here doing budgets when they're over $73,000? Right. Well, they should be right. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. And, and, and that's, 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 that's the kind of thing we're talking about. <coughs> I mean, especially, you know, like fire, a half a million dollar budget. And the budget used to be 110, most of the time. <laughs> and we managed, and now we're up at a half a million. Okay, we're going to we're going to we're gonna push more fiscal responsibility yeah. from all department heads and yeah. uh, POs yeah, signed. Right. Anything they want to buy has got to be approved. Yeah. Absolutely. You're 100% right. 100 times. Is that possible? Yeah. I think you're 250 percent right. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. everyone. Well, I'm just saying, why are we sitting here doing budgets when everybody's over? Right. Taking right. 82,000 from the designated fund to offset the, uh, the not difference in the number. Yeah. Well, it'd be 123,865. Right, Paul. As of right, right now, yeah. 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 With, with, with the numbers we worked out right. tonight, and there's 82,000 going back in. Exactly. So, so the number coming out would be 123, but. Well, and my question wasn't that specifically, but do you know how much money is in the undesignated fund? Well, that's that's where we were pulling the, the number that she had tonight. Yeah. But that was I'm not giving you that now. But that was in 2017. The undesignated fund number that we were dealing with tonight was from 2017. Chief Boyd, welcome to the question. The current one right now is very high. Chief, how many people do you have? You all volunteer, you were elected, right? How many people do you have on here? How many? 30, between 30 and 35, no, no. Oh, okay. right. Sometimes more, but that was the average. Was at least 30. Okay. Plus 12. Plus the ladies. The number that I have is 225,000. Yeah. But my yeah. thing is a contingency fund. That isn't supposed to be a contingency. Exactly. The number that, that I have that that should should be be there there is about 225,000. Including the half a million in uncollected tax? The number they have in there is over by almost a million. By over a million. But it didn't include any revenue. So, yeah. Does that include the unpaid property tax? The 500,000? Your number? You said? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. 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 And homestead exemptions, you know, that whole thing. Pretty thorough. You brought copies. And I'm waiting on that. I brought a lot of copies, Chuck. <laughs> but, you know, when people start getting on me, I don't like to give them out. Just saying, my friend. Okay, just so I make sure I have everything that you want next time, please give me a list of everything you want. Because I didn't scratch everything down that I'm sure. The main thing. Time. I'm sure you guys remember the wrong thing. <laughs> I'm really curious about the codes. Uh, how that's. Well, we should have the budget. For any budget that's changing, we should have the regular budget sheet that we always have. 
with the line items and the numbers and the, the bottom line ought to match what you guys have. Because you need that anyways to budget to do your budgets. Mm -hmm. If you're going to pull 40000 out of a budget, you got to figure out what lines out of that 40000 is coming. Paul's going to be on it first thing Monday. <laughs> 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 so are we done? Are we done with this? Yeah. With, the, with the rest of the referendum questions? <laughs> that was all. Awesome. Unless there's something that I missed that you want me to address. I'm was, I was just asking. Yeah, because the only last one that had any money on it was uh, comprehensive plan, and that is. Well, that is we got rolled over. So. And that's about $3,800. Yeah. I figured it was about 35, so I'm happy to have 300 more. <laughs> have you guys thought about going to a stipend? What happened to that question? Uh, what uh, the question on the, the general government probably signatures based on what's going on so far and based on all the stuff you guys want to do, probably is there's not enough money in general government for you guys. So you're already going to be over there. Have you guys thought about going to a stipend? Well, we gave them a lot of extra money, like thirty thousand dollars to add. No, it got cut down. Just cut it. How much did it get cut down? Good thing we didn't go for a police department, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying, is I mean that's. Yeah. I think we're going to be fine in general government. There's a lot of, a lot of money to be saved okay. over the year. All right. A lot. Do you know how much I got to cut down to skip your right there? It's like 16. Yeah, it was 24. It was 24 last year. Oh. And then they put it up to 56, but now they're saying they cut some of that off. For general government? Off of selectmen's wages, specifically. There's a large number that's coming off of the large budget, right? This. Six, 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 six thousand, thousand. Coming, out of it, coming out of there, and we'll have that breakdown for you. You rock. Second's pay was what forty-five thousand we put in for. So forty-five done. So still twenty-one thousand over last year, right? Right. Well, I wasn't here last year, so. <laughs> <laughs> So where are you going to come up with the rest of the money? The, what, the, the final amount? Out of general fund? Now, have you talked to, any, to the insurance? I mean, as far as you, you're cutting that back quite a bit, they agree with that, that insurance company? Is the health insurance that you're coming back? Primarily? No, the health insurance is going up. Going up, yeah. Well, when our health insurance went up from the previous year, so, yeah, so that budget where are you up. where are you getting the forty thousand out of the insurance from? From I don't know. Is that property or is that workers' comp or is that? It's a, I think it's a little bit off of both of those because both of those are way over budget last year. Huh. But the the health insurance is going up because it went up. We were paying seventy thirty on individuals, but right, and now we're paying that number is higher. But I didn't know. Right. But also that that number less is, than fifty percent higher. That number is based off of trying to. I think it's going out. from six. I think that's going from sixty to like eighty five. But I didn't know whether you were cutting that number yeah. back. No, that number is going up. So the town pays one hundred percent to the employee for the individual employees. Yeah. And then fifty and then fifty percent. That, that was negotiated in the CBA. CBA. But the week before the election. June 3rd. Mm -hmm. Not really, but that's... That's the day it was signed. Right. Not signed. by the board. So who's paying if they want to put a family plan? 70, 30, right? So. No, no. It's 50% for the oh, okay. beneficiaries. Yeah. That's a fairly common arrangement in the state. I'm all set. Do you guys have any questions or anything? Or do you need anything for the next meeting? So we're meeting next Wednesday, same time, same bad channel? Yeah, because we got to, if we're going to make the uh, August 10th, 10 o'clock is the scheduled meeting date right now. Do my best. Now the expenses, can we get the itemized one for next time, the whole year? Well, the ones that you have, that hadn't been posted, are those going to get posted? That's 
actually so Stacy's not here. So yeah, Lynn my... has to do it on top of all of her celebrity and stuff because they didn't hire an intern. They, they just put it all on Lynn, which is huge for her to do all of that. Yeah. Some, some of she can't do. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is where Stacy has to be. Yeah. So that's, that's why I'm trying to do what I can for you, but that's, that's yeah. my yeah. That's my hiccup right now. Which is why I didn't have for you tonight. You did well, Paul. Even your handwritten stuff that you have there, just to, just to write that out is, that's the, that's the best you got, that's the best you got. We'll do what we can. All good? Mm -hmm. I don't well. know the new select one. Oh, I'm sorry, we, we didn't do an introduction, did we? I'm Karina, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> Snap, crackle, pop on Rice Krispies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jeff Adams. Hi, Jeff. Joyce Wood. Joyce Wood? Wood. Wood. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good to meet you. Do we need to... Are you Skip Stoddard? I'm Jeff. Do we need to do oh, like a... Are you... You're doing yeah. vice chair because that's what you I'm were Chuck before, Russell. right? Oh, yeah. Hi, nice to meet you. Chuck that's Russell? a new term. Do we need to vote Thanks, for a guys. chair? <clears throat> you're going to be chair? Yeah, knows me. Do, do we... Yeah, I mean, don't think we have to vote until we I'm open our regular season. Yep. It is. It's after the fiscal year. So yeah, we have new you have to vote till October. We're assuming that's, that that's the October is normally the first meeting that we have after the election. Right. But this is actually the first meeting after the election. What was called our budget? But you have three new members or let's three potential on. new members. Let's, let's vote for Chris. <laughs> I'm just saying, is this? So should I don't we wait until Jerry's here? Yes. I don't know. Is was, did Jerry get the notification? Does anybody know? Who knows? I was just, I would rather vote in those chairs, but yeah, and other people are here. We can elect her while she's gone. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Jerry. Who's missing? Dave White? Is he still on? I don't think so. Elaine Lamb. Jerry's not here. Well, maybe next right maybe next meeting. I'm just thinking, we, you know, I mean, again, it's supposed to be. Right. So we want to meet before we meet with them then? Oh, it could be the first thing we do. I mean, okay, whatever you guys want to do. Okay. We'll show up when you want us the next week. Yeah, we have to let you in. Someone has to let you in. Huh? Someone has to let you in. Oh. So we'll wait till next week and do the election? Yeah. Okay. So I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Motion carries. All right, I'm making a run to the bathroom first. <laughs> Thank you for that tidbit of information, Jeff. Very quick, though. That's the good news. It went on 10,000 TV sites. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, folks, for coming out on very